Imagine if you had a lie detector that was able to detect truth or lies nine times out of ten. You'd nearly always be able to tell if someone was telling the truth or telling a lie. How brilliant would that be for solving crimes or finding out who ate the last cookie without telling anyone? Let's put aside the question of whether or not people can learn to beat lie detectors by pinching themselves or learning to imagine relaxing on a beach while answering your questions and assume that the lie detector is going to be equally accurate with everyone who takes a test. That means all you have to do is wire someone up to the lie detector and if the big red lie light flashes then you're 90% sure they're lying. Fantastic! But wait a minute, we've forgotten some basic conditional probability here. A test being 90% accurate is not the same thing as being 90% certain that someone is lying if the machine says they are. If the lie detector is 90% accurate, then it correctly identifies 9 out of 10 lies as lies, and incorrectly says that 1 out of 10 lies are true. It'll also correctly identify that someone is telling the truth 9 times out of 10, and incorrectly accuse them of lying 1 in 10 times. This is all well and good if everyone tells the truth or lies in equal measure. But in reality, people tell the truth far more than they tell lies. For the sake of argument, let's say 90% of statements are true and only 10% are lies. Now let's imagine an experiment in which we do 100,000 tests and see what happens when we sum up the results in a table. In 100,000 tests, 90% of people tell the truth. That's 90,000 actual true statements and 10,000 actual lies. The lie detector says 90% of the actually true statements are true, that's 81,000, but it wrongly identifies 10% of those true statements as lies, that's 9,000 false accusations of lying. It correctly identifies 90% of the 10,000 lies as lies, that's 9,000, and wrongly says that 10% of the lies are true, 1,000 lies that slip through the net and are believed to be true. So the lie detector thinks there are 82,000 true statements and 18,000 lies. It's underestimated the number of true statements and overestimated the number of lies. Overall, it correctly identified 90,000 of the statements, which makes it 90% reliable. But here's the all-important thing. The lie detector accused 18,000 statements of being lies, even though only 9,000 of them actually were lies. If it accuses you of lying, there's only a 9,000 out of 18,000 probability that you actually are lying. That's a half, 50%. Even though it correctly labels 90% of the statements truth or lie, it's no better than flipping a coin at predicting whether you're telling a lie. The problem is, with so many people actually telling the truth, incorrectly allocating 10% of a large number of true statements as lies completely messes up the results. We need to be quite subtle about how we use the test. If it says you're lying, then the 90% reliability rating is not relevant. We need to consider the whole story, including the prevalence of lying in the whole population, and the number of true statements that the test has mistaken for lies. In this case, we found that leads to the conclusion that it's only 50% likely you're lying if the test says you are. Back in the 1700s, the Reverend Thomas Bayes proposed a formula which we now call Bayes' theorem that helps us to work out conditional probabilities. It applies in all sorts of situations like lie detector tests, medical screening tests, criminal investigations, email spam filtering, crash wreckage location, and many more. The probability of A given B equals the probability of B given A times the probability of A all over the probability of B. It's well worth learning more about so you can make more informed decisions the next time you want to know who ate the last cookie. Or your test results seem to say it's 90% likely you've got Lurgy disease. Or you want to know why your spam filter is making bad decisions about your emails. When you subscribe to our channel, remember to click the bell to ensure you get notifications about our new videos. And for more mathematics content, why not follow the link in the description below to nagwa.com.